today we are going to talk about two natural plant gums gond which is acacia gum and gond katira which is katira gum we will first learn how to identify between these two very identical looking gums and it is here that most of the people make a mistake they do not identify the right type of gum for their use and end up with the wrong result so on to identifying these two gums now in the bowl on the left we have gond katira while we have gond in the bowl on the right you can see that both are very identical in looks as you can see gond katira is almost white to light brown in color it is very dull looking there is no shine to it on the right we have gond which is very shiny in looks almost like pieces of glass so this is the first difference the other difference is that when gond is soaked in water it will dissolve completely while gond katira will absorb all the water and become jelly like or gel like so now we are going to soak 1 teaspoon each of gond and gond katira in water and see what happens so here we have 1 teaspoon each of gond and gond katira in the two bowls the one on the left has gond katira the one on the right has gond we will add the water now both the bowls are filled with water and we will let the gonds the gond katira and the gond soak for about 4 to 5 hours and then check back on them it's been 5 hours since the gums were soaked in water we'll check them now so the bowl on the left had gond katira you can see it has absorbed all the water and has become gel like in consistency so we'll check the other bowl which had gond in it as you can see the gond has completely dissolved in water even without stirring so in these two ways you can differentiate between gond and gond katira and not make a mistake in identifying which is which besides these two physical differences gond is warm in nature it gives warmth to the body and is used in winters only it is used to make gond ke laddu panjeeri gond ki raab etc while gond katira is cooling in nature it cools the body so it is used in summers only you can use it in sherbats in smoothies in shakes and more the health benefits of gond and gond katira are listed in the slides that follow now i hope now you know how to differentiate between gond and gond katira if you like this information please like and share our video and subscribe to our channel thanks for watching